Eric Mangini. Coach, good morning. We're talking Aaron Rodgers. In his weekly appearance on the Pat McAfee Show yesterday, the reigning MVP owned up to misleading people about his vaccination status. Rodgers said, quote, I made some comments that people might have felt were misleading. To anybody who felt misled by those comments, I take full responsibility. I am an athlete. I'm not an activist, so I'm going to get back to doing what I do best, and that is playing ball. I shared my opinion. It wasn't one that was come to frivolously. It involved a lot of study and what I felt like was in my best interest for my body. I shared an opinion that is polarizing. I get it, and I misled some people about my status, which I take full responsibility of those comments. But in the end, I have to stay true to who I am and what I'm about, and I stand behind the things that I said. All right, Nick, why don't you kick us off here? What do you make of what Rogers had to say? Yeah, I, listen, this sucks because Rogers has always been one of my favorite players. And in the few private interactions I've had with Aaron Rodgers, I've, I've liked him tremendously. And they've been about non-football stuff. And I have found him to be uh, you know, on the right side of a lot of important issues when I've when I've you know exchanged messages with him about those, I shouldn't act like we've spoken, but we've digitally spoken, if you would. Um, but on this, I feel like he's still lying. And to apologize for misleading the media from that initial press conference, and then to continue in these interviews to mislead people, I think is very unfortunate. So I just I made a list here. He in his first interview, he said that an NFL doctor told him that if you get the vaccine, it's 100%, you can't get COVID. That the NFL said that's flatly untrue. Logic tells us that's flatly untrue. I don't believe that it's a doctor true. ever told him that. I, I'm gonna say something else that is I, maybe a little controversial. I am, let me call it skeptical of his claim when he said, ah, I couldn't take Pfizer and Moderna, I'm allergic. Just I'm just skeptical purely on a numbers basis. According to the CDC, one in 500 are allergic. So that's one in 500 chance, Rogers could be that. And one in 100,000 have a severe reaction. And 90% of that one in 100,000 are women. So the odds that Rogers was told by a doctor, this is unsafe, it's not impossible. But given the fact that he's fudged the truth on a number of things here, I'm skeptical. And then I also think in this apology, there's a lie, even if he doesn't know it's a lie. When he says, my research wasn't, the word he uses is frivolous. Well, I think it was, Aaron. I think that there's, there's I guess, a couple ways to approach it, Coach. First one is this. If you are researching a deadly virus and one of your go-to sources is Joe Rogan, you're being frivolous. If you're asking Joe Rogan for expert opinions on anything other than podcasts or mixed martial arts, it's frivolous, almost by definition. And when he says, I put a lot of time and study into it, yet the last time we heard him talk, he asked the total red herring, if the vaccine's so great, why are people with the vaccine still getting it? That shows such a baseline misunderstanding. Like, coach, I don't, if someone said, if I said, guys, I've been studying the NFL, spent a lot of time on it. And I got to tell you, <laughs> I watched that Packers Chiefs game and the Packers had a ton of problems with the hold on field goals. So why aren't they just using the kicking tee? I watched Crosby on kickoffs, never missed anything. Just use the kicking tee on field goals, guys. Duh, it's right there. Would you think I've really studied this or I'm talking out the side of my mouth? Because that's what a lot of Rogers' comments have been. So I just think the whole thing sucks and I just still don't believe him, coach. I, I think that Aaron thinks he's the smartest person in the room when he's in a room. And, and oftentimes he probably is the smartest person in the room. And, and sometimes when you, when you have that approach, you think you can pull things over on people. And for a long time, he did pull things over on, on the whole league. You figure over half the season, everybody went with the assumption that, that he had gotten the vaccine. And, and even in his comments, he says, I 
uh, if people felt misled, if people felt misled, not now later he says I misled, but but really was about how people reacted to his comments, not that he was deliberately trying to mislead him. There, at no point was there really an apology. This was just a function of of the business aspect, the blowback, the things like that, trying to trying to pull that pull that back in or rein that back in. Yeah, he says, I stand by my comments. You know, guys that stand by the Cole Beasley stands by his comments. He was out in front and and he was strong on it and and there was no gray area with with how he felt. Yeah. That's standing by your comments. That's that's taking a real uh, a real position. You know, even even this summer, you know, I, I felt misled when he said he was gonna retire. I felt misled when he said it was about <laughs> personnel and and not about his contract it was about his contract and guaranteed money but it's it's the t same type of, of of situation and and when you look at things you know in light of this and and then you look back at comments you start to question a lot of the things that that he says and and look going to a, a doctor for for most things but suddenly not going to a doctor or not rely on their advice for this and going to to someone that has no medical training to to decide Decide how you should react to 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 getting the disease. It's it's stunning, and it's it's not it's it's not great for for the grand scheme of things, and for everybody who's trying to make sense of this and do the right thing. So here's the thing, and, and I I think that I speak for a lot of people out there, a lot of football fans. I think this story <laughs> burned hot and fast. And that the large majority of sports fans in the world, Nick, just want to talk Packers Seahawks. I think that the world is so polarized between, you know, doctors and charlatans uh, that we're ready to move on. You've you sort of cast your lot with one or the other. Most people have gone with the doctor side, but the charlatans, maybe they'll slowly come over. But I don't know. I just think there's more football to be talked about here. And I understand that, like, we think it's, I think that it's a story that sports media finds more interesting than the fan base. And you've been in sports a long time, and every once in a while it feels like one of these stories happens where like sports media, very interested in it. Fan base, less interested in it, right? I think if you go to a sports bar and you're talking about this weekend's games, no one's gonna be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk about let's talk about Aaron Rodgers vaccination status. I just feel like it needs to be said because I, I think that we're in danger of doing a disservice to the fan base at large because this story burns so hot. I think people are just ready to move on. Aaron Rodgers has cast himself as a non-critical thinker despite what he claims to be and it is what it is and his brand will be damaged permanently. But I think more people are interested in Aaron Rodgers the football player than Aaron Rodgers the anti-vaxer. Well, listen, and, and again, he would say he's not anti-vax, but regardless, the, the, I, I think that's yes. right and wrong. I think, listen, I listened to your podcast with Bill Simmons where you stole my takes and put them off as your own. I mean, it's fine. I got no problem with that, Wilds. I'm kidding. Wilds is great. Listen to Wilds' podcast with Simmons. I you. Um, I and, you. I'm just kidding, buddy. Uh, and you mention, oh. or Bill mentions, that, you know, there's now Aaron Rodgers stories in People magazine. So maybe the folks that are betting Packers Seahawks are just interested in the game. But Rodgers now has become, you know, a sports figure that has in some ways transcended sports. And so I do think people have opinions. And I think all of a sudden, this past week and a half, while he might be getting criticism he usually doesn't get, he also has a whole bunch of new fans who couldn't identify Aaron Rodgers out of a lineup, but have decided he's one of their favorite yeah. players. But I just want to address one last thing that Coach mentioned. Because I hear people always use this, not as a shot, but I hear it. You know, someone that thinks they're the smartest person in the room. And I must admit, that's applied to me at times. Where I'm like, yeah, I look around a room, and I'm like, yeah, I'm the smartest person here. Like, I, it just happens. Like, I just walk in into the some room, rooms. In I mean, occasionally are. it doesn't. In, in the world, I'm by myself as it happens. And <laughs> even those of us he knew that. that sometimes, you know, have the arrogance to think they're the smartest person in the room, typically understand that doesn't apply to 
every aspect of life. And it is just so frustrating and disappointing that one would think in a weekend or a week, or let's call it a month of intense study, I've cracked something that folks couldn't in eight years of medical school. As someone who thinks the smartest person in the room a lot, I don't go to my doctor's appointment and be like, well, let me tell you this, doc, here's what I found on WebMD today. And there is the selfishness aspect of it, which is, and this is the last point I'll make, but I think it almost, it's like thought of, but you gotta really drill down on it. If Rogers truly believed he was immunized, if he truly believed he had found a way to immunity that was stronger and safer than the vaccines, then does he not have a responsibility to scream it from the rooftops? Instead, he did the opposite. If you've sc- discovered cold fusion and you are Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, guess what? Fire off a tweet, buddy. Don't just talk to Joe Rogan text chain. Go on Joe Rogan's podcast. Say, guys, guess what I've done? I can host Jeopardy. I can win the Sold MVP. It. And I can fix COVID. I can end Nailed the pandemic. It.